rolling. Oh, the comfort, the inexpressible comfort of feeling safe with a person, having neither to weigh thoughts nor measure words, but pour them all out just as they are, chaff and grain together, and a faithful hand will take and sip them, keep what is worth keeping, and with a breath of kindness, blow the rest away. My mum used to say that to me every night when I was a little girl. It used to help me get to sleep, apparently. She had the words to the poem written on this great big poster that she had draped over a bookcase. Somehow she never got around to putting it on the wall. On Friendship by George sick. There was this boy at school. He was weird, you know. He used to follow me around like a little dog, I, because I'd been nice to him once or twice, I guess. Everybody used to laugh at him, because his socks never matched, and he always wore shorts, no matter how cold it got. And he was knock kneed He had these awful scars on the insides of his legs, where he had operations to make them straight. But they didn't work, and so he used to kind of wobble when he walked. There was this one guy who used to really bully him. Glenn, yeah, that was his name. Bashed him up sometimes, and Rodney had this way of just disappearing. He must have known every hiding place in the school. One day, I remember I was sitting with a big bunch of my friends under a tree eating lunch and we were laughing about something or other and I looked up and Rodney was coming and I thought oh no so I moved right into the middle of the group so he couldn't come up to me and my best friend Susan started calling her Rodney's a dickhead Rodney's a dickhead Rodney's a dickhead and everybody joined in and then I joined And he just kept on coming. And he, he climbed over people and came all the way up to me. I was really embarrassed. <laughs> so I was sitting there cross-legged and I was looking at the ground, you know. He put a hand on my shoulder. And when I looked up, our noses were almost touching. The chanting was getting really loud by this stage. Rodney's a dickhead, Rodney's a dickhead. I think you're beautiful, he said. I didn't think anybody had heard, but I couldn't be sure, so I pushed him hard. He fell backwards onto somebody else, and all the girls started screaming like he'd done something really bad. And we got up and just ran away and left him lying there on the ground. As I was running, I stopped for a moment and turned back. Just at that moment, he sat up and our eyes met. He waved at me. I just kept running. Nobody ever knew that we used to swap sandwiches quite a lot, but never when anybody was around. 